some trouble. I am goosed. Great crack. Fucked in the trouble. I am goosed. I've just uh, come back down for a little bit from Great, great crack. Spend somewhere there now. I've just come back down a little bit. Just trying to find somewhere to put the tent. What a climb! What a climb! I'm just trying to get a few hikes in and wild camps uh, before I get busy. I've got quite a few things on, so I'm not going to get out for a little while. So I think this is probably second off last one. Uh, before I go to Holland, I'll do this one and then uh, I think I'm going out with some friends from work on a, a mad one. <laughs> anyway, I've just come down, like I said, I've just come down from Great Crag, just up there, just to find somewhere nice to pitch the tent. And as per the title of the video, I want to talk a little bit about um, your first wild camp for those who haven't been. I know plenty of people watching are well in the wild coming, <laughs> don't need my advice. But some people, I know I did, I watched lots of YouTube videos to get an idea of what I was doing with my first wild camp. Yeah, I'll get back there where I find the nice pitch, tent up. But yeah, that's another thing. I have the news, if we just look down here, and I'm just going to show you. We have this, I don't know if it's a lake or a tarn, it's rather big for a tarn, I think it's a lake, and it's called 
Ears block. And it's spelled exactly the same way as my name. Isn't that weird? That's my lake down there. <laughs> Here's water. I think I'll have my ashes sprinkled in there. Like the inlight. And the anonymous tar. Rather the like, uh, the same name as my tar. My tar. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to look for a pigeon. I'm going to get this dead up. And then I want to get back to you. It's a bit. Well, it looks like we've got some wild campers down on here's water on my lake. <laughs> I'm going to talk about your first wild camp. So, if you're watching these videos, you probably already go wild camping and just like watching videos, other people's videos, like I do. So, I watch wild camping channels all the time, you know, the usual ones, uh, just because I like watching them. You're either one of them or you're someone who's thinking about going wild coming. So I'm all set up. So the first thing you've got to do if you want to think about if you're thinking about going wild camping is do you really do you really want to do it? Um you've got to be up for a little bit of adventure. Um and not require all the creature comforts that you might be used to if you get the weather you're gonna have a fantastic time no matter what because if you're thinking about it it's something that you want to do anyway try and get some gear cheap or borrow it see if you like it first before you spend all that money on camping equipment so if you're already a hiker you're halfway there anyway instead of just not taking anything with you just take a tent and sleep and bag and be with you go somewhere you've been before that you might have seen and thought oh, I'll go there just make sure that you pitch up late and uh, leave early and by that I mean I mean early I don't mean like five o'clock in the morning I just mean before there's crowds are coming back up the hill you know and make sure you leave no trace apart from flattened grass where your tent's been take everything home with you you know, for the first time ever, I've had to use this. Of recent times, anyway. It's been a while since I've had to use a midgery spear. But the wind just dropped there, and by God, did it come out. <laughs> oh, I hope the breeze steers. It's that time. I should, uh, don't forget that. <laughs> it's a must. <laughs> this is what it's all about. Look at the views. So just behind this mound, just here, is High Street where I've come three times now. Moving around you've got uh, Rest Dodd. And then moving on to Angleton Campsite. <laughs> Probably one of the most popular areas in the Lake District for wild camping. Or one of the most well known. Um, I was there last weekend uh, with a friend. It was his second time wild camping. His first time wasn't very good. A bit of a disaster actually we had 80 mile an hour winds i'm surprised it didn't put them off but just in front of us you've got brock crags where i've wild camped three times now um and just behind that you've got place fell and i've did a wild camp on there as well been around here quite a bit actually and then you've got uh, a little bit of ulls water um moving on to heart sop you just see the edge of Brothers Water just over the tent there. And then you've got 
I can't remember what that's called now. Hot Top Dot, I think. And then moving on, you've got Stony Cove Pike, where I camped last, only just about three, two weeks ago, I think it was. Yeah. I'll not go through all the other ones. You know, make them out anyway. But the views are fantastic up here, as always. So I'm just making a bit of food. Got myself a right mess going on here, like with gear everywhere. <laughs> Had me tea. I only carry light stuff, um, basic stuff like hydrated, stuff, you know, like um, I wanted to be quite light today. So I, t I brought a, a curry super noodle pot, not brilliant, I know, but I brought some Swedish meatballs. You've probably seen us have these before, that's because I just like them, they're just nice and easy. Um, let's see. Leave no trace. I've got like a little rubbish bin here. All this will be coming back down with me. And uh, I've got a little bit tidy up. And now I'm going to enjoy me, me beverage. <laughs> Been playing Spot the Wild Campers. As I can see, one or two. Down on here's water. There's a um, a whole bunch of tents. I don't know if it's a thing because they're all the same colour tent. Or and just over this way, I can just see, see a little orange tent. But I can't see any round angle town, but that's too far away. Just looking over on Stony Cove Pike, and I can't see any there either.
something to remember on your first wild camp. Clothing. Uh, today it's been um, 25 degrees, 26 degrees Celsius. Boiling, like really hot. Um, and it's probably not that cold now, but if, you, if you've been walking, hiking, and you, you get really hot, um, and on the night it starts to cool down, and as I say, the sun's starting to just, just starting to lose light now, and it's cooled down considerably, and you feel it. So I've had to layer up, I've put a warm hat on, a fleece, Two layers, t-shirt and another base layer. Obviously the shorts and the base layer bottoms. I'm nice and warm, but without these items of clothing, I would not be. Something to remember. Pack the right stuff. This goes hand in hand with being safe. Um, being warm is one of them. So don't forget to pack the right clothing. Oh, these midges. They're not, the midges have got to be the most annoying creature on this planet. They serve no purpose whatsoever apart from to drink my blood. They're just everywhere. And I know this isn't even that bad, but they're everywhere. Horrible things here. Yeah. I don't even know if you can see them. No, I can see them. But <laughs> I think it's because the wind's just dropped. Uh, as soon as the wind drops, by God, they're out. Anyway, get a load of this view. These colours in the sky. Look at that. Do you know? <laughs> it's, it surprises me every time how beautiful this place just is. And if you sit and look at it, and I mean really look at it, it's just phenomenal. It's fantastic. And it's free if you're wild camp. That's another good thing about wild camping, because for my pitch today, with these epic views, I paid nothing. I didn't even pay for the parking. Well, actually, I tell a lie, I did. Because it's a free car park, but it has a, a box for donations. And I put a fiver in. It's just, if they stop getting money in the donations, they might stop it from being free. <laughs> and it's worth every penny. Look at this. Check this out. Well, this is me saying good night. Uh, the sun's just about down. And I'm off to bed. I might watch a little film and uh, eat a chocolate bar. But this is me. What a night. And I'll see you in the morning. In a bit.
morning. Guess what? It's raining. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Oh. oh, I think I've slid around six meters down this hill. I'm definitely not flat. Never mind. Well, what do you know? Stock change from yesterday. Anyway, I'm gonna. Have a cup of coffee and a waffle. Um, I haven't got far to go back to the car. It was just a quick one. It was just a very steep one. But uh, it won't take as long to get back down. Probably only, I don't know, probably only take us less than an hour, 40 minutes or something. Listen to that, Rian. I didn't bring any waterproofs either. <laughs> I always bring waterproofs, whether it's, no matter how, what the weather's like. Especially the wind and that, but I didn't bring any waterproofs. <laughs> so I'm going to get wet, but it doesn't matter. I'm wearing very light clothing. A bit windy last night as well. Thank you very much.